What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through Mount Pyre and found Team Moment, Team uh, Magma and all that stuff. They took the, the Magma Stone and all that crud. Now we have the Aqua Stone. I think that's what it is. And, yeah, you guys are wondering why I'm doing outside of uh, uh, Mount Pyre. Well, I went off screen, flew back to... Uh, Whatchamacallit, the back into town, Little Root, or no, no, not Little, little Root, but I flew back into town, put some Pokemon back in at the PC, brought some new Pokemon back out. I believe I have, uh, let's see. Oh, yes. So I brought three new Pokemon onto my team just because, yeah, you know what? I kind of want to train up a lot of my Pokemon right here before we go in anywhere else in main adventures or anything, because if you guys don't remember, yeah, this, uh, yeah. Going into, uh, well, going into Moss Deep and all that stuff, yeah, you're gonna be powered up, level 70s and all that stuff, and finally! Oh my god, it took me a while, but look! Oh my god, okay, so, after a long time coming, guys, this freaking Pokemon egg has finally hatched. Oh my god. So, look at that. Why not has, uh, hatched from the egg, and no, we will not nickname this Pokemon right here, so... Let's just, uh, let's see, first, uh, first, let's go ahead and take a look at what this Pokemon is all about. Actually, I'm getting a phone call. Hold on just a sec, guys. I'm back, baby. Anywho, uh, let's see. Taking a, uh, taking a look at our new Pokemon right here, why not? The Psychic-type Pokemon, it does have some pretty good stats right there, even now. Shadow Tag, it prevents opposing Pokemon from escaping. You guys cannot see it, but it does have Splash, Charm, and Encore as its attacks right here. So it's not much of an attacker attacker because eventually it will evolve into a, what was it? Into a Wobbuffet, a Pokemon pretty much uh, loosely resembling a punching bag. So what we're going to do right here is, well, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fly all the way back to, uh, to town. Well, I'm not going to go back to the town and, uh, and do anything. I'm just going to go straight up and finish up this whole area right here and see where it takes me, you know? Why not? It's going to eventually evolve right here, probably. And there is a rare Pokemon waiting for us right here. Hold on. Where are you? Where are you? Gosh darn Pokemon, where are you? Where? Nope. Right there? I don't know. Wait, I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking. There you are, okay. Let's see. Hit the... Right there, okay, alrighty. So we got a ghost type here that's very rare. Oh, level 41! Oh, okay, I can capture you. Alright, hold on. Let's go. Come on. There you are. Now, these Pokemon are a little tricky to, to try and find because they will try and evade you every single time. And there we go. Okay. So, this rare Pokemon right here is a Shuppet and it's at level 41. It might have a pretty crazy move. It might have the same moveset, but I'm going to try and capture it because it's at level 41, it's not going to take me a lot to evolve this Pokemon, and here it comes with its Shadow Ball. Holy crud. Okay, I'm sold. I'm going to capture you. Okay, but I'm not going to be using them on my team or anything. Don't worry, guys. So, let's go with the Dust Ball. It's appropriate for this Pokemon right here. Let's go. Dust Ball, get it, got it. Stay in the ball. Wow. That was easy. <laughs> oh, God. That was so god dang easy. Okay, alrighty, so there it is. We got ourselves a Shuppet, and why not? It's starting to grow. Look at that, level 3, level 4. God dang. 5. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at this Shuppet right here. Shuppet, the ghost type Pokemon. This is the second time I encountered it. Shuppet is attracted by feelings of jealousy and vindictiveness. If someone develops strong feelings of vengeance, this Pokemon will appear in a swarm and line up beneath the eaves of that, that person's uh, home. So it might be <laughs> might be outside of uh, my house or, or something because I always feel vengeful. Very vengeful. Okay, so that's that right there. There's another Pokemon here that you can capture, but I'm not going to do that right now. And I think... I think this was the final floor. Yeah, this is the final floor before we went 
into the Team Magma situation. So we're going to go up here. And... Wow. Kind of looked like we... Yeah, never mind. Alright, so if you talk to this guy, a text inscribed on the tombstone honoring a deceased person or a Pokemon is called an epitaph. I've been contemplating uh, what to write in my epitaph. I have so many great achievements that I am at a complete loss. Well, okay. And let's see. It's not good enough yet. For a final resting place for uh, that my Pokemon Meow and I will be in, this is not good enough. Really? Holy crud. Why is he so particular about it? Once you die, everything will be gone. Damn. It's kind of a mean thing to say. So grab this right here, and you found yourself a Shadow Ball technique. Alrighty, okay. And let's see. The words, final resting place for Meow and me, are inscribed on it. Okay, alrighty. Now, if you guys notice that little sparkling twinkle right there, you guys know what time it is. It's time for another episode of uh, Look at This. We found ourselves another Mega Stone. So, going into this episode, we are finding the Medichamite. This is exactly what you'll be finding a Medichamite. And, uh, well, let's roll on to the clip of me evolving that Medichamite in another episode. <laughs> Alright, trust me, guys. Uh, trust me, guys. Every single Mega, mega Stone that I have right here. Or that, that I will be getting, I will eventually show it on a on a separate episode where to find it and all that stuff. Uh, so far, I recorded three with my voice on it. So if you guys are wondering where's the clip and all that crud, it's gonna be it's gonna be there somewhere. It's just uh, I haven't started it yet because, well, we're close to Moss Deep. I still don't have the national decks. I kind of want to get the national decks before I do anything. Start growing Pokemon. Evolving them and then you know finally, you know doing the mega evolution and all that crud. So we're gonna have to wait on that stuff And where the hell am I? Oh, this is the end right here Okay, so this is the end of uh, Mount Pyre and so that is that let's just continue on right here Let's just continue on right here. Uh, I was gonna save this for the next episode But you know Draven's a you know a dumbass for this one right here Okay, so let's see where we are. Okay, so here we are on another route where we're going to find a lot of trainers. And this is why we have Sir Razor with us, just so he can cut through some trees right here. And we're going to be able to find this right here, the Revival Herb, which will be able to evolve or revive your Pokemon. But it does have a bitter taste to it, so just be aware that Pokemon do not like bitter taste and all that. Okay, so first is first. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and try out... Uh, well, let's go with Zoro right here. Eventually, it's going to start growing levels. And we will evolve into Ninetales. Will we have it on our team? I don't know yet. So here we go. Being a psychic is about willpower. I've convinced myself that I won't lose to anyone. That makes me strong. Okay, whatever you say, homeboy. Let's go. Psychic Cameron coming with his psychic... Pokemon Kadabra right here, and I will come out with Zoro. Look at this Pokemon right here. Look at that. Six tails. It's gonna love me, just like 1999. And it does have faint attack, so let's do this. And here comes that Psycho Cut. And that took a buttload of our HP, and wow. So we're, 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 we're under leveled. We went back. We went, we, went, we went back a step, so I'm gonna switch out my Pokemon, and I'm gonna bring out the old good buddy. Swamp Lord. Look at this guy. You guys remember Swamp Lord? It's been a while. And he's going to be taking a few psychic attacks. So let's go right ahead and use some Surf. Surf and Turf Water. And he's going to be using Telekinesis right here. Holy crud. Alrighty. So here we go. Surf attack. Does its thing. Look at that. How you like me now? Not so much. And of course... Why not is going to be growing levels like crazy in this episode. Look at that. Level 8. And he's going to be coming out with a Soul Rock. So I'm going to be switching out to Zoro right here. And then I'm going to come back with, uh, with what's his name? Swamp Lord right here. Ah, flexing. Stretching out my muscles. Yes. Oh, yes. And here comes a Soul Rock. 
Bye bye. I'm gonna be switching out right here. So let's go with Swamp Lord. Let's go. Swamp Lord, you are the man of the hour. Let's go ahead and destroy this guy right here. Look at that. And cosmic power. Ah, jeez. And, well, Solrock's defense has risen, so let's go right ahead and use another surf attack. It is both, I think, a rock and fire type Pokemon, but it's still a little faster than us. Do not worry. Surf attack for the win. Maybe, I don't know. It, yeah, it raised this special defense, so that's something right there. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go with the muddy water, and this guy is coming with a psychic attack, crud baskets. So we're kind of struggling just a little bit because we did switch out our best Pokemon for, you know, lesser, uh, less uh, stronger Pokemon around or something like that. I don't know. And look at that, Sir Razor grows to level 36. Why not? Just mooching off the levels right here, and Cameron has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. So that's that. Let's continue on our adventure right here. And let's see. Ah, oh, look at that. There's a person right here that we can talk to. I love grass-type Pokemon. How about you? Oh. You also like gra uh, love grass-type Pokemon, eh? I'm so happy that I want to give you this. It, it'll be a token of our, our friendship. We get ourselves a big root. Don't know what that does. Uh, let's see. I check on the health of the trees around here with my grass-type Pokemon. I guess you could say I'm a tree doctor. Yeah, she probably is. Kind of is. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some berries. Yeah, buddy, look at that. Houndou berries. Kind of sounds like Houndour. And here you have Lepa berries. Yeah, buddy. Lepa berries. And here we have a, a few citrus berries right here. Look at that. Yes, sir. And, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. There's nothing else right here. Now, I will be flying back and forth because this place right here requires you to... Well, it does require you to fly back and forth. Uh, to get into sis separate locations right here, and what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to put on a super repel and Let's see got to heal up a Pokemon That's one that's two and No, not that guy and three alrighty, so let's do this Right here on Dragon Ball Z I'm rewatching Dragon Ball Z god dang it completely forgot about the level thing and here we are getting attacked by a Gloom. Now, I could go and battle it. But I kind of don't want to because uh, Zoro is not that strong. Not yet. Alright, so... Let's see. I'm gonna go right here. And... We're getting attacked by a Pokemon Trainer. I'm, I'm looking to see if I can... If I can't... I, I'm looking to see if I can't find a secret spot around here. Oh, okay. Although there is a place right here that you can find. So here we go. Picnicker Martha wants the battle. And she's coming with her Illumis. Illumis. Alright, Zaro. You can do this. It's not the strongest Pokemon, but yet it does have Flame Burst. So we're going to avoid that attack. And here we go. Flame Burst. Oh, yes. Super effective. So we're going to keep on doing that. And the Zen Headbutt, can it do it, will it do it, and do, oh, god, it took a good amount, so here we go, Flame Burst, again, for the win, suck it, there he goes, oh wait, it didn't, what, it didn't faint, oh god, oh god, and here comes that flatter attack, oh crud, what the hell's going on here, special attack goes up, but we get confused, okay, so it's kind of like a swagger for special attacks, and that right there, Good God, it took my victory away. It took my victory away. How could you do that? Oh, God, okay. Let's go to Zisharm. Because in the next turn, it, yeah, Zoro will not survive. So here we go. We're we, there, he's weak. And here comes a Desert Storm, or a Zen head, Headbutt. And we're going to be going with a Rock Slide right here. Let's go. Rock Slide for the win. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. No more. Okay, alrighty. And look at that. Zoro grows to level 30. Everybody else is growing levels. Why not it's growing levels? Level 12. Look at that. Wiggly tough. And, well, let's go ahead. I can't use Fluff Blade right now because, yeah, fairy type Pokemon. So, oh, we're going to be going with Swamp Lord right here. Alrighty, Swamp Lord, ready to kick some butt. 
Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Okay, Swamp Lord, let's do this. Surf attack for the win. Look at that. And crud. But here comes that disable attack. Don't worry, I still got like somewhat of a surf attack here. It's just called Muddy Water. So let's go. Muddy Water. Look at that. It's just dirty water. It means it pooped in it. And there we go. No more wiggly tough. And there comes the experience points. Hello, Swamp Lord, level 42. And everybody else. Desert Storm finally grows to level 45. Why not growing levels? And look at that. I shouldn't have battled. That's right, you shouldn't have battled. And bam! Finally! So it's taken us quite a while, guys. But we finally did it. Desert Storm is finally evolving into the Pokemon that I... Well, one of the Dragon-type Pokemon that I like in this version right here. And, uh, you know, little... Like, uh, as we continue on right here in our adventure, going into the Pokemon League once and twice, I will be alternating Pokemon. I, like, this game right here is enabling me to, you know, choose multiple Pokemon at the same time. And as you can see, it's learning Dragon Claw right here. And, well, we gotta check its stats first. Well, not really. So, it has Dragon Breath. It's done it so well because it has a 60, uh, P or 60 power. But Dragon Claw right here is a little bit more powerful. The only, the only thing is that Dragon Breath does paralyze Pokemon. And it is a special attack. So, I'm gonna forget that one. I believe Flygon is a special Pokemon, special attacker or whatever, but it, nonetheless, Dragon Claw's right there. Bam. Now, let's see if I made the right choice right here. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Fl uh, Desert Storm. And crap. Oh, yeah, I did the right thing. It is a physical attacker, so Dragon Claw it is. And, well, let's continue on our adventure right here. Now, like I was saying, in. Pokemon Omega Ruby, it, it's enabling me to use multiple Pokemon, uh, a lot of Pokemon, guys, and it's so easy to grow levels that it's just like, you know, I can bring them out anytime I want. I mean, if you've seen the last few episodes, bam, look at that, I've, I've, I've came out with a bunch of uh, Pokemon, I've evolved multiple, po mo multiple Pokemon, and... I don't know. I don't know. Like, uh, I really don't know what my team is going to look like. The only thing is that there is one Pokemon that does have a permanent spawn, and that is Sage, which we will be bringing back a little bit later after, you know, a few evolutionary stuff and all that crud. And, well, let's continue on right here. There's a trainer waiting for us. I've been alive for 54 years. My life has been full about battles. You don't say. So here we go. Street Thug Hannibal. Hannibal Lecter coming out with his Crawdunt Crap Baskets. Ah, crud. It's a pretty good Pokemon right there. And Zoro has no chance. Good, good. Okay, so let's go ahead. You know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and use our good old buddy, Sir Razor. See how he does, since it is a grass type Pokemon. You know, haven't seen it in battle. So, welcome back, Sir Razor. And I think we did evolve it, like right here. And here comes that Razor Shell. Not effective, but it does lower our defense, so that kind of uh, screws us over right there. So let's get to work right here. Vine Whip attack. Let's go. Look at that. Alrighty, super effective, and here comes a nice slash. And good God. Okay. Alrighty. That was not fair. That was not cool. All right. Um, let's go, Fluff Blade. Eventually, I'm gonna win the Elite Four with the blades. If you guys don't know, I do have a, a few. You know, a few, uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, flying type Pokemon that end with the blade. I got Fluff Blade, Sky Blade, Steel, or not Steel Blade. Fluff Blade, Sky Blade. Uh, shoot. I'm trying to remember everybody's names right here. See, I'm getting a little old. So get off my back, guys. And look at that. Crawdot has been defeated. Completely forgot that, eh, well, you know, fire types are, are effective against dark types. And look at that. Welcome to the level 40 club, Fluff, uh, Fluff Blade. And it's learning uh, Dragon Pulse. Okay, alright, I see you. I see you. Okay, so we're going to take away that Dragon Breath. And bam. Dragon Pulse. I believe Dragon Pulse never misses. I could be wrong. But look at that. Why not growing levels as well? And we defeat Hannibal. How good is it happen to me? 
Well, you were mean to me. Okay, so let's move on right here. I think we're going to go to the main part of this whole this whole adventure right here. I know that there's a lot of trainers that you can battle here and all that stuff. I'll probably be doing that off screen just to grow more levels and all that stuff. And here we are, I think. Yeah, there's a trainer right there waiting for us. Okay, so first, yeah, we got to we got to heal our Pokémon because this is unacceptable. Although I did make the switch to a different Pokémon right here. So like I was saying, guys, yes, I will be using a different kinds of Pokemon in this game. Uh, depending where I'm at in Pokemon Heart Gold, those Pokemon will be added right here. I mean, you already, you guys already know know of one Pokemon that I already have in this game, and that is Cinder. I'm just gonna have to wait for the other Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and battle. Let's see. You shouldn't get complacent just because you have a lot of gym badges. There's always going to be someone who's better than you. That is a lie, a dirty friggin' lie, because nobody has been able to defeat me. I've been on a 500 match winning streak, I think, ever since I lost to Gary that first episode. You guys remember that? Funniest time. And looking at Mama versus Daughter, I gotta switch it out because that is not going to work. So let's go with Swamp Lord right here. Don't worry, Zoro. You will, you will, you'll get the levels. It's just, uh, yeah, Nine Tails right here is going to destroy you. And here comes that confused ray. Good God. Well, we can look at it from two different ways. And I'm going to look at it for this way. You know what? We're just going to use a surf attack. Take that uh, flamethrower. Not going to be effective against us. Come on. And risk being hurt. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Surf attack does its thing. And no more Ninetales. Okay, alrighty, look at that. Look at that, and Zoro grows to level 31, and it's learning extra sor sensory. So let's go right ahead and take away one of these moves. I'm going to take away Hex, because it's not really a move that I'd, I'd like to have. I didn't even know that Hex takes away 65 HP right there, but look at that. Why not growing levels, learning Counter, one of its uh, staple moves, and it wants to learn Miracle, which is another staple of its, uh, of its move set right here. So I'm going to take away Splash. All right, and bam, look at that, learn Mirko, and it's learning Safeguard, so it's learning its moves that it should be learning as a, uh, well, as a, uh, whatchamacallit, a freaking wa Wobbit bat right here, look at that, Safeguard, and it's learning Destiny Bond, okay, so I think it's going to evolve in this, this level right here, so let's go ahead and take away Charm, and yes, there we go. How does someone train a Wobbuffet? I do not know. So let's go switch out our Pokemon. She is coming out with a Blossom. I'm going to be coming with Zoro. And it's not going to be as strong right now, but okay. All right. So let's see if we can actually get some kind of good damage. And it's using Sunny Day, which is power me up. Look at that. You just made a big mistake there, honey. Alrighty, so Flame Burst, take its HP. Oh yeah, and it is super effective. Let's try this again. And of course, it paralyzes me. Nothing ever, nothing ever comes so easily for me, you know. So here we go, Flame Burst. Yeah, buddy, nearly takes him out. So we're gonna risk it one more time. And here comes that magical leaf. Oh, I'll try it, I'll try it. Oh, jeez, okay, come on. God dang it. Ah, oh, come on, I just, I gotta win. One time. And here comes that magical leaf. Ah, uh, Jesus, okay, come on. Here we go, flame burst. For the win. Let's go. Yeah, buddy. Look at that, look at that. And Zoro grows to level th 32, which is good. Very, very good. Look at that, my Pokemon are growing. And Swamp Lord as well. Look at that. Sir Razor getting some levels. Look at that. Why not? Why not? And yep, I am better than you, honey. Way better than you. And just like that, after hatching, why not? Why not evolves? Why not? <laughs> okay, so it takes a long time to hatch this goddamn Pokemon, but it takes an easier, like right here in this game, it takes it. It's just easy to just, you know, evolve it. And look at that. As a female, it does have its lipstick, but look at that. Wobbuffet. So we're just filling up our Pokedex. And bam. 
Okay, so let's just move on right here because we still got a, a one more thing to get rid of. Or there, there it is. So let's see. Uh, I'm gonna have to go down here just to see what, what what we're missing out on. Oh, look at that! Grab this, a PP up, and well, let's continue on right here. And well, no more repel. So. Here we are in the house right here, and this is exactly where we're going to be finding our next, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, our next Megastone. So, if you guys are wondering why I'm introducing myself again, it's because of that other show right there. So, what's up guys? This is another episode of the Megastone, you know, where to find a Megastone. And in this episode, we're going to be finding Gyarados' Megastone. So, all you got to do is go into this house right here and talk to this guy. He's like, welcome to the, uh, or welcome, welcome. This is the one, two, three, go fish. And that Poochina you see there is our watch Pokemon, Chomper. Chomper's a real glutton. All right, a uh, real glutton, all right. Puts everything in that mouth. If you feel like fishing, though, you're free to fish your heart out in the pond in front. So, his, uh, Poochina here finds stuff. So, now, if you go to Poochina right here, Grump, grump, grump. It seems like Ch it seems like something is bothering Chomper. Could you give it a little scratch? Yes, I will. I'm gonna give it a little scratch, and after giving it a little scratch, we get ourselves the Gar Gyarados site. The Gyarados site for Gyarados. So let's cue into that that Gyarados thing. Anywho, we got ourselves the Gyarados site right here, guys. And, uh, well, if you talk to this Gary here, play along with the old man, would you? Tell me uh, which Pokemon you like best. If you tell him Magikarp... Oh, exactly! You don't, you get it, don't you? I'll give you something special uh, I've been holding on to. And we get ourselves an Eviolite, which will prevent any Pokemon from evolving. Oh, wait, I got that wrong. A Neverstone. <laughs> Never mind. An Eviolite is perfect for any Pokemon who has yet to evolve. It will boost up their def uh, their defense and special defense, but once they're fully evolved, yeah, cannot uh, cannot use it anymore. So, let's see. They're like, uh, they wasn't that, hasn't that yet bloomed? Okay, whatever. I don't care. So, we got ourselves a Megastone. We came over here, and there are a few trainers here that we can battle. But before we do that, let's grab this. Found ourselves a wide lens, which will actually help our accuracy right there. And this area right here is actually pretty cool to find uh, secret bases all over the place. So let's go ahead and battle these guys. Let's see. I'm always after the big one. I've got no patience for small fries. Okay. All right. So here we go. Fisherman Timmin. Timmin wants the battle. And he will be coming out with his Sea King right here. If you guys remember, I got a shiny seeking. I do. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Drinking water, drinking water, gotta keep hydrated. And, well, I'm not gonna use uh, Sir Razor. I gotta use Fluff Blade right here. Completely forgot that Zaro was paralyzed. And here we go, Fluff Blade. Alrighty, and Fury Attack. Oh, crud. That's one. Here's another one. That's two. God dang it. And, well, let's go right ahead and use that Dragon Pulse that we've been talking about. Let's go, Dragon Pulse. For the win. Oh, crud. It wasn't even for the win. This god dang Sea King just took it. Okay, so... Oh, God. Okay, okay. All right. So, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Disarming Voice? Would that work? Probably. I don't know. I haven't used the... Uh... A fluff blade in quite some time, and look at that. Takes a critical hit, but here comes that agility attack. Okay, this god dang goldfish is going to be healing up his uh, his, uh, his stats right here. So, let's go with a takedown attack. Let's be suicidal right here. And, oh crud, he's going to just keep on increasing his speed. Don't know why. So here we go, takedown attack. Nearly does it. And, oh crud. Yeah, we got to beat this guy quick because that is a good combination. So let's go with one more takedown attack. And oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Why are you using agility? Attack me already. And there we go. Sea King defeated. Alrighty. Okay, and well, we're getting points. Everybody's getting points. Wobbuffet grows to level 17. And there you go. Defeated one guy right there. Okay, alrighty. 
Let's see, we're gonna be switching out our Pokemon right here because Zaro is, uh, yeah, incapacitated. And let's go with Desert Storm right here. We have yet to use uh, our Flygon, so let's see what this guy has to say. Fishing is a battle between people and Pokemon. It's no hobby or sport or anything like that. You don't say. Okay. So here we go, going up against Fisherman Fisher. Fisherman Fisher, wow. And he's coming with his Whiskash. Of course, water and ground type Pokemon. That's something you don't want to mess with. So let's go ahead and use that Dragon Claw. And Dragon Claw, does it do it? Can it do it? No, it doesn't do it, but here comes that Zen Headbutt. And, oh crud, okay. So let's go again with another Dragon Claw to finish this guy off right here. And there you go, Whiskash. Not so cashy anymore, but still something. Look at that. Gaining experience points. Wobbuffet, of course, level 18. And we defeated Fisherman Fisher. Try and get that right, guys. Fisherman Fisher. All right, so one more guy to go right here. I throw my line in the sa and settle back to ponder all sorts of things. Like, what is a Pokemon battle? Well... It is the uh, battle between two people to see who is stronger, and you're not stronger than me. So here he comes out with a Krogant. I picked the right Pokemon for this job right here. Yeah, buddy. Let's go, Desert Storm. Let's go with a Dragon Claw again. Look at that. And it nearly takes him out. And, well, there's that Night Slash that beat me, or beat my uh, Sir Razor right here. So let's go right again and use another Dragon Claw. And bam, look at that. Crawdont defeated. It's not a happy camper anymore, guys. It really isn't. And let's see, Fisherman Finley coming out with a Gyarados. Let's go right ahead and use Fluff Blade for this one. I want to see what happens. I just want to see what happens. Okay, here we go. Fluff Blade. Looking all fluffy and everything. And here comes Gyarados trying to intimidate us. Luckily, it's not intimidating me. So here we go with a Dragon Pulse attack. Come on. Oh, yeah. And that was a pretty big norm when I was actually... Oh, crud. He has Ice Fang. Okay, so we got to beat this guy quickly. Take it down. Come on. Yeah, like, that was a norm when I faced any trainer with, like, any kind of uh, Alterias. They actually used a lot of Dragon Pulses. Not my cup of tea right there. And, well, let's go right ahead. Another... Let's go again. Dragon Pulse. Come on. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. And damn it. And here comes that Twister attack. Wow. You could have used Ice Fang. You could have used Ice Fang, but you didn't. So this battle right here is... Wow. Fluff Blade had to fight for this one. Look at that. Look at that. And look at that. Okay. And look at that. Fluff Blade grows to level 41 and into earn it. Okay, and look at that, Desert Storm, level 46, pretty good, Sir Razor, level 38, Wobbuffet, level 19, these are some good trainers to actually battle, guys, so remember, you're going to be battling these guys every single time, you just got to check your map and all that stuff, anywho, I think that's pretty much it for this whole route right here, I know that I missed a few spots, I'll do that off screen and all that crud, guys, uh, let's see, the next episode, we're going to be going straight to uh, Slateport City, and... Yeah, I guess we're gonna be getting started with that whole, with that whole uh, issue of uh, Team Magma and all that crud, and yeah, yeah, we're, we're just gonna take care of Team Magma and all that crud. So thank you guys again for watching this episode. I will see you guys in the next one. See you guys.